countries like the US and the UK now battle the second wave of COVID-19. With over 600 new cases being recorded daily recently in Nigeria, the health ministry is not only worried, but has plans to take drastic measures to stop the spread. Plus TV Africa looks into the reality of a possible wave of rising infections, its implications and what must be done. It was on February 28th, 2020, that the first case of COVID-19 was detected and treated in Nigeria. A case that sent shivers across the nation. The government soon swung into action, shutting down markets, schools, churches, national and international flights, and generally imposing a lockdown that lasted for weeks. Wearing a nose mask and using hand sanitizers became a necessary ritual. In May, the lockdown was gradually eased, but seven months down the line, many seem to have returned to their normal lives with relaxed use of face mask, hand sanitizers, cautions seem to be thrown to the wind despite government enlightenment. It's almost as though there is no COVID-19 in the country. Just this Saturday, December 12, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, tested positive for COVID-19. Now, this is only two weeks after the health minister of state warned of the fear of massive spread of the virus following low COVID-19 safety precautions. The ministry further announced plans to reopen isolation centers. From one case in February, Nigeria has recorded over 72,000 confirmed cases and over 1,000 deaths. Dr. Uchi Anyawago speaks on the possibilities of fresh spread and increased deaths. Nigeria, as it, as, as it is, I'm not even sure we've been able to test up to half a million people over the past 10 months, and that's a shame. But it's not still late for us to declare a state of emergency in our health care so that we can get the necessary equipment, the necessary manpower, stopping our doctors living in droves and developing our infrastructure. When you enter a restaurant, they ask you to wear your face mask. But when you go inside the restaurant, nobody's wearing their face masks. So these are the things. COVID-19 is still very much existing. People are traveling in and out and it is only bound to happen. These medical professionals agree that going back to the strict observance of COVID-19 safety protocols may be a way out to avoid the economic hazards of another lockdown, which might be necessary to stop the spread. COVID-19 is real. It's not a fictitious um, situation that people made up just to pump money anywhere. No. COVID-19 is taking lives. As a public health physician, I know colleagues that I have lost to COVID-19. I think that coronavirus should have made us to be a bit more serious about the healthcare facilities and infrastructure we have in Nigeria. Sadly, I'm not sure that that lesson has been learned. So in terms of testing, Nigeria has performed very poorly. If they were to be my student, I would score them maybe five over 100. However, there is a glimmer of hope that vaccines will arrive the country early next year. Despite this, health experts advise that the protocols must not be ignored.